Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Barnyard. As you just saw, we are the now the Barnyard Champion. We still gotta become number one party ammo, and all we gotta do to do that is get the Neon Dance Floor, which we'll also be doing this episode. Uh, I'm not, I'm not totally sure yet, actually, because there's one thing I wanna do now that we are Barnyard Champion, now that we're here in the Night Barn. I actually entered some cheats to fill up my knapsack and flower pack. I figured, you know what, it's not really a big deal if I use cheats or not, because the only thing... my giblets. The only difference it makes if I don't use cheats is it just takes longer for me to get to record this episode. So I figured, let's just do that instead. That way I can save some time for myself. Here we go. We're going to mix mocktails for the first time, and we're going to make all of the mocktail recipes. All 16 of them. And conveniently, you have access to your mocktail book. So we have uh, 16 recipes here to make. And uh, they're all pretty simple for the most part. A lot of them are just, I mean, they're all just drinks, basically. I mean, it's this game's version of cocktails, basically. It's all it is. So first of all, we have carrot juice. So for that, we do three carrots. So let's go and get our carrots. You got a new drink. Yes, we do. This is what it looks like when you're making a mocktail. We got a new drink. Carrot juice for 10 gopher bucks. All right. So next up. Next up, we have chocolate shake. Chocolate milk ice. This is thirsty work. I don't remember him saying that in the GameCube version. This is thirsty work. Indeed so. Ready. It can be thirsty work when you're at work right now. Shut up. Just shut up. That's it doesn't even make sense, like how I did how I did that. Okay. Next up we have strawberry shake, exactly the same as chocolate shake, literally, except for one one ingredient. You're gonna see quite a few recipes like that, but you know, let's just make that real quick. We got a new drink. Alright, let's make that strawberry shake. Ready. It's also worth 10 gopher bucks. I'm guessing every, every prop. honestly, probably every one of these mocktails is gonna be worth like 10 gopher bucks, which is pretty lame. I'd expect some of them to be worth more. Okay, next up we have two very simple, 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 simple. Well, actually, three very simple mocktails. Louis, just three of the same exact ingredients. So first, apples, then melons, then ice. All right. So here comes the apple juice. Was that Lewis Company there? On the whatever that whatever those uh, utensils are. All right. Well, not utensils, but whatever. And next up, we have melon juice with three drink. melons. We got a new drink. We can say that every single time. Come on, you gotta say something different like every single time, pig, please. Please for me. We got a new drink. Nope, I guess not. Screw you then. Okay, and now for ice water, the most simple and healthiest mocktail out there. Literally, water is the healthiest drink in the entire world. Like no comparison whatsoever. We got a new drink. Ready. I figured at this point also I shouldn't have to explain like how to get any of these ingredients. We should know by now like how to get every single ingredient literally in the entire game. So that shouldn't be an issue at all for anyone. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm so sick and tired of like ha of like rolling the Wii remotes to the side like all the time just to pick just to change like pick the recipes. And sometimes it's very selective on whether it even counts. Like sometimes, like I'll be just holding it slightly to the right like casually. And it'll turn, but sometimes if I jerk it to the right, like turn it to the right, it won't react at all. So it's just so annoying. So whenever you can use that control stick on the nunchuck, do it. All right. So next up we have hot chocolate. It's a very another famous uh, recipe that everyone knows. All right, milk chocolate honey. Is that right? Yes, it is. Just want to make sure. You got a new drink. Now. If you ever use a combination that does not um, result in any ingredients, like any any combination that doesn't that doesn't uh, that the game doesn't recognize, you will get slops. Basically, it's worth one gopher buck, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's just a, this game's version of mistake, basically. So there's that if you want to make that as well. I guess we'll make that too. I, I don't know if it's displayed on the uh, milk bar. I would hope not, because I don't because we all know nobody would want to drink that except for pigs. 
There's your hot chocolate. We're 40 gopher bucks. That's pretty good, actually. Next up, we have Cherry Delight. Cherry Milk Honey. Let's get it. It's convenient. Actually, actually it's kind of interesting that uh, mm, refreshing. I'm actually having a couple drinks while recording this episode. I figured, hey, we're making mocktails. I may as well have some myself. I mean, like, not like cocktails, obviously. I'm just having a beer, but still. Next up, we have Fruit Mocktail. Strawberry Cherry Mealing. We got a new drink. All right, so here's a strawberry or our fruit mocktail. We got a new fruit. drink. Fruit mocktail, yeah, fruit mocktail. I said it right the first time. Come on. <laughs> so fruit mocktails were ten go for bucks. All right. Next up, we have apple cider, apple apple ice. This one's a favorite. I'm sure this one will be will fetch quite a few go for bucks. Or probably not, because it's uh these ingredients are pretty simple to get actually. Maybe we'll wait until a later episode to do number one party ammo. I just don't we feel like doing both those things in the exact same episodes, you know. I just want to have like some variation, so I want to leave time to get to take on like a like the next mission in this episode, basically. Lemon ice honey. Come with me. So I can find lemon ice and honey. We get Ready. lemonade. Good stuff, good stuff. 50 gopher bucks too, jeez. I mean, it's not surprising that lemonade would be this expensive. I mean, I was just at the... I went to the state fair a few weeks ago, or actually a couple months ago at this point, and uh, I had a cup of lemonade there, and they charged 450 I think, for it? Like, 450 for a cup of lemonade. Like, seriously, how how can lemonade be that expensive? I, I just don't get it. This is thirsty work. Melon, honey, and milk. You can find those three to get. We got a new drink. Melon or honey melon magic for thirty gopher bucks. Good stuff. Next up, we have iced lemon tea, combining le two uh, two lemons and ice. Let let's get that. We got a new drink. We got a new drink. Alright, so there's our ice lemon tea. Now, I was thinking, like, uh, for the number one party animal, um, before we go to the night barn, uh, to get that, we could, uh, go to the kitchen and make all the food recipes. That way we can show off, you know, number one party animal, cutscene, and also all the, the food items at the same time. And that'll be the last time we go to the night barn. I think I'll just save that for next chapter, because I just don't feel like, you know, trying to squeeze everything into chapter six, when chapter six is already a fairly long chapter as it is for you know, later half of the game stuff, so, you know, with the last three chapters being so short. Okay, uh, next up we have Lemon Soother, so we got a jar of honey and two lemons. Let's do it. We got a new drink. So when life gives you lemons, apparently that results in us getting a Lemon Soother. Mmm, refreshing. Refreshing and probably sour, too. Not that that's a bad thing. Next up we have eggnog. Yep, that's pretty, that's to be expected. Let's mix. This is supposed to be like the only mocktail in the entire game that requires eggs, actually. Eh, yeah, that's what it is. Mmm, refreshing. Refreshing, especially for the holidays, which are coming up real soon, actually. Just coming next month, so getting excited. Well, I guess uh, two months until uh, Christmas, which is usually when eggnog is actually relevant, but whatever. So, anyways, with that, we have one more recipe to make, and it's a uh, honey shake. Just honey, milk, and ice. So, there's a lot of recipes in here that involve honey. Mm. But a lot of these recipes didn't, didn't involve ice, and as a result, we're down to one bag of ice, but that's okay. So, there we go. Honey shake, our last recipe. And, finally, uh, since we haven't had any required flour, here we go. Is thirsty work. I mean, seriously, if you were to combine, like, three bags of flour, all you get is just flour. That's literally it. But, nope, yeah. instead we get slops. I don't know where the, all, the, all the other that crap man. comes from. I don't, I don't think even sl slops would have any flour in it. But, literally, that's what you get for combining three bags of flour into a cup. So, there you go. This game is official proof of that. And so... Nah, I'm not going to say it. It's too predictable. But, you know... That is it. That is all the mocktails. It's literally our only reason, 
like and before that we got 453 gopher box which is pretty good actually well somewhere around there because i had just over 2,000 gopher box here and no the slops is not showing up on the milk bar which makes sense but here we are there's all the all 16 of the mocktails displayed on the quick in my milk chance. bar it's pretty cool to look at actually so all that's left is to make all the food recipes to show off here and the uh, cutscene for number one party and but other that, yeah, there's nothing else to do in the night barn that is. I mean, besides you want to, unless you want to go down to the basement to play those four mini games, you know, it's up to you. But as for me, we're going to go ahead and leave the night barn for now and we're going to take on a mission before we end off this episode. So I'll meet you guys uh, the next morning. Although, honestly, I will admit that it would make more sense to have this mission, like, you know, towards the end of the day, actually, because, well, uh, here's the thing. This mission is meant, this uh, minigame, actually, is meant to take place uh, late at night. So, you may recall, way back, way, way, way back in Chapter 2, we played a minigame called Chasing Chicks with Otis. Well, guess what? We got Hannah and the three Jersey Cows standing behind her. What do you think that means? <sighs> Poor Hannah. I'm off to a hen's night. Where are you going for this uh, hen's night, honey? Can I join you? The Sweet Jersey Cows have agreed to put the chicks into bed, but I don't know if they're babysitter material. Jersey Cows, babysitter material. I don't know. What do you think, Hannah? Do you think you could keep an eye on them, make sure nothing goes wrong, as in do their job for them? So basically my strategy is exactly the same here. I mean like it's annoying it's a little more annoying because there's three uh bulls to watch out for instead of one, but it's not much more difficult than the last time you played it. Just get used to hearing Eddie say Ew throughout this minigame. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright boys, I'm gonna show you how a girl does it. The right way. I'm just kidding. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there are dudes out there who are really good babysitters, and some girls out there who are not good babysitters. But, anyways, as usual, just go for all purple rings, and you'll do just fine. You have literally nothing to worry about if you go for all purple rings. In fact, actually, the fact that there are three bulls instead of one here actually makes this e this version of uh, chasing chicks even easier because they'll be busy squirting each other instead of going after you, or going after the chick. So they waste time squirting each other. Meanwhile, you're going around getting all these purple uh, wild shots and racking up all the points. So yeah, this version of chasing chicks is actually easier than the first time with Otis. Honestly, they should have had you play this with the Jersey Cows first. Well, actually, we made, we're, well, yeah, it did, because we, we met the Jersey Cows by the end of chapter one, so. Chapter 2, it still would have made sense to just play, you know, this minigame with the Jersey Cows first. Instead of just with Oris alone. Of course, Oris is in charge of the barnyard, so he's got better things to worry about than chasing chicks around. Okay. Now, what's annoying, though, is that the wild shots will often be um, as far away from you as they can be from where you pick up the chick. Like, there, it's the location where these purple rings appear are proportionate to where you pick up the chick, I guess, I suppose. Like, the wherever you pick up the chick, they're just going to be the, the two rings that are furthest away from you. Which show isn't always the case, because you can see there, a purple ring just appeared right next to me, so... I don't know what the... what exactly the mechanics are for how the purple rings appear, but whatever. As long as we get the high mess, highest amount of points as possible, we'll we'll be good. I mean, like I'll try to get 200, but we'll see because we're already down to one quarter a quarter of our time here. But we'll see. We'll only have to make three more shots in order to get 200, so we might have a good shot here. Of course, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get away from them. You guys can go ahead and just square each other all you want. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be over here getting my 160 points. Oh, oopsie. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get 180. I don't know at this point because we're running out of chicks and they're all over here. And nope, it's 160. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it's still star material. So Iggy won out of all the Jersey cows. Yep, that's a star. 
Okay. That's to be expected. In fact, actually, I think uh, 100 is the star, is all you have to get to get a star. Okay. But, there you have it. Otis is better than the Jersey Cows, but uh, we are better than all of them. <laughs> Ain't you the sweetest thing? I knew you were the best with children. Anytime, well, Hannah. Goodbye, then. And for that, we get 150 gopher bucks, as per usual. So that leaves us at 2,600 gopher bucks. Which, uh, actually I'm going to use them for something else. Uh, probably... Some of you might be able to guess what I'm talking about here, some of you might not be. But either way, um, it's getting late, and our next mission actually happens to be... Well, actually one of the next two missions happens to be at night, happens to be at night time. Uh, one of them is going to be during the day, though, with uh, Miles here. And we'll see what that is, but first things first, we're going to be doing the uh, Jersey Cows in the Night Bar. And you can probably guess what that is. Uh, it should be very, very super, 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 super obvious at this point. So we'll be doing that first next time, and then after that we'll go see what Miles wants. So, see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Good Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Barnyard. I'd like to give a shout out to currently my only patron, Jose Cazaraz. If you'd like to have your channel featured here or see episodes ahead of time, follow the Patreon link below for more details. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new episodes. Tune in tomorrow for another video.